Hey guys, Jimmy here. I'm going to show you how to set up Pokemon Revolution Online. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to open your browser and go to, oops, PokemonRevolutionOnline.net um, and that'll take you to their website. And then from there you click on Downloads. And it gives you five choices. Um, these ones are the ones we're focusing on. Uh, we're working on Windows today. Uh, so we are going to either download the x86 or the x64 version. Now what that is, <clears throat> is that refers to the processor type that you have in your computer. And to figure out which one you need to download, uh, you're going to go to your control panel. And then click on System. And from there it'll show you uh, right here, where is it at? Right here, the system type. It'll tell you what type of operating system you're using. So we're using a 64-bit operating system on this computer, so we're going to download the 64-bit uh, version. Now if this says 32-bit, uh, you'll download the x86 version. So we're going to download the 64. We're going to wait for it to download. Um, this could take you know, a couple seconds for you guys or, you know, a couple minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. So we'll wait for that to download. All right, so we're back. Um, you'll notice that uh, it's downloaded and it's got this RAR extension. Um, now, if your computer, if you get this window, it says that it can't open it. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go uh, open up a new tab or open up a new browser window and uh, Google 7-Zip. Uh, it's a program that'll help you uh, un unarchive that program or that file. Um, again, either 32-bit or 64, whichever you're using, go ahead and download the correct uh, file. And we're going to install this. All right, so it is installed. And now when you go to open that file, <clears throat> Go to downloads. We're looking for Pro 64. And then you're going to select a program from a list of installed programs. And you're going to have this come up. You go to 7zip. And then use this 7zfm.exe. It'll come up. And you have these two files here. What you're going to do with these is there's no installer for this. So what you're going to do is you can copy them anywhere on your computer. Um, for mine, I just uh, copied it to the program files. So we'll wait for this to load. Go to your local disk. 64-bit, um, I put it in here. And then you're just going to copy these files into here. But you can copy those into your, your downloads folder, your documents, uh, directly onto the C drive, or wherever you want to put them. It's up to you. Um, so once you do that, uh, the program is installed. So you can create an icon, or you can just load it from this program here, or this file here. So we'll create, we'll mount it to the task, task bar, uh, and then we can click the icon. And hopefully, with any luck, the program should open. There we go. And here's your Pokemon Revolution Online. You accept, and it's going to load and let you log in. Um, again, you'll have to create a login, and you can do that from their website. Oh, loud music. And you can turn the music down. Um, but from there, you're going to go to their website, if you haven't already, and create an account. Uh, you just go to the Pokemon Revolution homepage, and I don't know why this is being so slow. Oh, this took me to the forums. Okay, so we'll just go to the main website, and you register, 
create a unique username, password, email address, and then they'll email you a uh, confirmation email. And then from there, it usually takes about five, 10 minutes for you to be able to use that login in the game. Um, you'll notice if you try to log in, it won't really do anything. So just give it a little bit and then uh, you should be able to get in. Um, so we'll see you there and have fun. Bye.